Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video I will like to talk about guilt. Building guilt, it's a good weapon to achieve your goals. And uh, specifically I will use uh, the guilt that uh, Vladimir Zelensky, the president of the state of Ukraine, tries to built uh, for the rest of the world in order to uh, fix his uh, problems, fix his uh, decisions that he made and uh, a lot of people die because of them. I will use uh, an article from USA Today from the 5th of March by Ella Lee and it, is, uh, it says here ev evacuations in Ukraine Halted after Russia sees fire broken. Volodymyr Zelensky warns, and I'm quoting, if we fall, you fall. So that means uh, you got to do something about it because, you know, my fight is your fight somehow. Uh, I will use another, um, another little article that uh, this uh, Zelensky guy who is the president of uh, Ukraine? Uh, he used it for uh, uh, to build guilt. Uh, you know, uh, is um, let's see where is that at? Um, uh, he's trying to to make the his fight as being an international fight, where uh, everybody you know should uh, should get involved. Uh, regardless if they have uh, they don't have a dog in the fight and uh, I have here a uh, it's a YouTube uh, video where it says here that uh, from news.com and uh, it says Zelensky accuses West of uh, wanting Ukrainians to be slowly killed Ukrainians that's very important uh, words have meanings and here we have a uh, uh, from Zelensky accuses uh, West of wanting Ukrainians to be slowly killed and uh, it says here it's a video and it says that you also want us to be slowly killed well Zelensky maybe your war is not the entire world's war but since your masters who are across the Atlantic on the other side of the Atlantic is here uh, they push you to you know like the British and the French push the Polish in 1938 1939 to uh, uh, negotiate in bad faith with uh, Germany eventually it happened what happened uh, these guys are trying to use guilt this guy specifically if you're not with me then you must be criminals and that reminds me of another Another accusation that that uh, was used after the, the Second World War by a group, and that group was the the Jews, who, uh, regardless of the help of other countries who accepted many Jews during the you know 1930s when German banned them and German said you take them otherwise we're gonna take care of them and so on. Many countries took Jews in their countries, including United States. Well, if you look and you read. These countries, even if they helped, they said, you could have done more. The fact that so many people, six million, died in Europe during the Second World War, it's because you did not help more. So you're guilty. So uh, if you understand that mentality, what would you do with a person that you help all his family, you help all his family, but five people from his family, and they say, oh, they died because of you. But what about the other 50 that I freaking helped? And they're alive and doing well. Now they're going to what? They're going to shoot me? So this is, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, building guilt so you can have a, uh, you know, get ahead uh, or demand stuff, request uh, stuff. That's how you do it. So uh, we have in, uh, it's, uh, this guilt is built only against European uh, uh, nations and uh um countries from north america i don't know yet about australia 
but it's very weird. It's not. It's weird. It's not built uh, against the, the Chinese or the, against the Japanese or Africans or which they all have their own shitty, dark, uh, you know, times in their histories. You just have to read it. They all more or less, more or less. Um, but you know, these countries are. I'm talking about, you know, that you try to build guilt so you can suck them of whatever advantages you might suck them uh, from, uh, from these countries. It's very interesting, interesting that it's only these countries. It's not the other ones. And I would mention just a few, few historical guilt building against this, the Europeans and the North Americans. And one is the, the white guilt. I came to the United States, I could understand that if you're white, somehow you're guilty of uh, whatever Hitler committed. What? I just dropped here three days ago as a poor immigrant. I don't ask for anything. I just want to work. I just want opportunities. That's all. I don't want to cut the line. I just want to work honestly. And they tell me I'm already, you know, uh, I have somehow, um, I'm privileged. And you, you have to be guilty for what other people did, like guilt by association. You know, it's, it's, and people don't, don't smack them back when these guys dare to come like hyenas. And then it's the religious guilt. And they mention usually two big religious, or maybe three religious guilt that some other people did in the history, not me, not my, even my parents, some other people are not related to, the religious guilt, which they use the crusades against the Muslims in the Middle East and their fellow Christians, but Orthodox Christians from the Constantinople as well, and uh, the Inquisition, also the African slave trade where the region agreed with that and completely, you know, said, yeah, we're all God's children and that's how it is. They tried to build that too. So they tried to attack religion too. And the third one is historical, really historical incidents. Like for instance, colonization that lasted what, 80 years or so? Well, that destroyed everything for everybody who's in, who's a victim nowadays, the colonization. Was it good? It had good things and bad things. Well, I'm not supposed to say they had good things, but there's the reality, unless you're a hack. All right, because they brought some civilization, building uh, roads, uh, you know, taught the guys to speak a different language, read infrastructure, buildings, institutions, schools, architectures, culture, music, and so on. Not that they didn't have music, but it's one music, and this is a different kind of music. It's a kind, different kind of music. You know, it has a different value. Yeah, cultures have different values. Sorry to break the news for you. So anyway, the same thing is tried right now with this Zelensky, who tries to create, build guilt. So you guys are guilty if you don't kill the Russians. For me, for me, who I was born in Ukraine, Zelensky, but he's not part of the Ukrainian tribe, if you want to take it really genetically. So let's say uh, a guy from, um, I don't know, Cape Town shows up in Romania and uh, after five years he's Romanian? No, he's not a Romanian. The guy who came from Cape Town, white or black? No, you're not. You are not have the same genetic makeup. I understand how things are here in the United States, mishmash and blah, 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 and tra-la-la. So they fit political stuff, but science, you know, follow the science um, you know, up to a level where they allow you to a level. So anyway, don't fall for this guy's uh, guilt building method that they, they used all, all the time, all the time. We were the victims and you owe me something. Even if you did something for them, you owe me something, something, I will find something. Oh, you did something for me yesterday. But what did you do for me today? You didn't do anything for me today. That's how it works. So Zelensky is a hack. So Zelensky is one of those guys. 
and he's got a big back, which is the big club who pushes him in the middle of the Ukrainian people who are getting slaughtered by the Russian people who are their cousins. In the name of whom? Their leader who is what? Is what? U Ukrainian? Okay, just make the little connections a little bit. All right, who's fighting like the Second World War? Who fought against who in Europe? Brothers against brothers. For whom? For who? All right, stay smart, strong. Look for the freaking truth. It's there. Just you're like three clicks away. Put that effort. Click, click, click. Don't fall asleep. Don't drink too much. And get smarter and get the truth. Learn it. So you can be just, so you know how things are flying around you. Don't fall for every little guilt victim here. See you next time. Ciao.